Hello doers, my name is Jose Ignacio and today we're talking about Stealthy Wood. And we happen to be growing fast and hiring people to help us scale. But because of that, we have a bit of an issue. As our new employees learn to use our Odoo database, they keep changing fields in our CRM pipeline. I know, they're terrible. Of course, we love seeing them learn how to use the tool, but this is causing extra work for our sales team. So to correct this, we will set up group access rights for our new hires so that they can only read what's in the CRM app. This will still let them see what's going on in the app, but will prevent them from making extra work for our sales team. So before we begin, let's discuss why we use access rights instead of individual user permissions. Groups remain effective even when users change, and they simplify permissions management and all of these things for multiple users. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so to get started, let's select our settings application over here. Now you're gonna wanna have developer mode on, as you can tell I already have it on. If you don't, just scroll to the bottom until you hit the developer tools area and you can activate it right there. Now we're gonna scroll all the way back up to the top because we're going to users and companies and then selecting groups. Okay, from here, we're gonna select new. All right, we're gonna select our CRM application because that's the one that we're creating permissions for. All right, we're gonna name this one new employees with the proper caps. Perfect. Now we're gonna leave the share group box unticked and API keys maximum duration days over here unfilled out. These handle more technical permissions that we don't need to worry about right now. But if you're interested in learning about them, I'll link some docs below. All right, now we're actually gonna get into the meat of making the group. Down here, select add a line inside of the users tab. And we're gonna select who to add. It is going to be Ernest Reed and Select Jeffrey Kelly. We're gonna pick both of them right there. And then we're gonna select. Next, I'm gonna click into the menus tab over here and you guessed it, we're gonna add a line. And that way we can pick what screens within the CRM app will be targeted by this group. We're gonna search up at the top for CRM right there. And then once that we're good to go, we're gonna check the box next to it. Great. Now, I wanted to basically mention that if we go up here, you'll notice that there are actually sub menus if we wanted to select it, but we don't actually have to worry about this like CRM dash leads. We're only making permissions for the entire CRM app. So we're gonna close that out and instead we're just only gonna do CRM and select it. Great. Now we're gonna click into our views tab over here just to set what views the new employees can see within the app itself. We want them to learn so we wanna make sure that they can see all of the views. So to do that, we're gonna select we'll add a line we're gonna be doing a lot of that today. And we're actually going to be grouping by model over here. And now this time around, type in CRM and we're gonna search model for CRM. Great. So we are actually going to select all of them to see all of the CRM app views. This is a lot of collapsible views right here, but we want them all. So we're gonna click on this little box over here at the very top and hit select. Nice. Think of these as just different ways to look at a list of leads or opportunities within the CRM app, like the Kanban view or the list view. We're almost done, by the way. Just hang in there with me. Now we're gonna move on over to our access rights tab. This is where the magic happens since these are the permissions set for Ernest and Jeffrey. We're gonna select add a line. I promise you, we're almost done. And we're gonna give it a name this time around. We're gonna do CRM dot, even better. We had it right there. Now. If you see over here, it's essential to have a strong naming convention for these just so that you can tell them exactly and what their purpose is. And that's why R says new employee dot update probs. You can probably guess what I'm gonna do over here inside of our model field because of that. We're gonna select search more. Now under the top, we're gonna open up and expand our search thing and we're gonna select group by and then we're gonna select model. Great. That just makes things a little bit easier as far as what I need to look at because once again, we're gonna search up at the top for CRM, but before we do anything, we're gonna click the first one, model CRM. This will show a bunch of different permissions to manage. But remember, we're doing this once so that it can apply to multiple users at once instead of having to do it for each of them separately. So I am going to go to the crm.lead.plus.update one, and we're going to click it for this one. All right. And finally, we're gonna do read access for this one. 
just since we don't want Ernest and Jeffrey to modify our lead probabilities, but we still want them to be able to see them. I have a few more permissions to manage, so I'm going to be right back after I finish those up. All right, that was fast, and as you can see, I set up the rest of those access rights. But don't worry, the process is exactly the same for all of them. Let me explain what each of these little checkboxes over here is. These are different actions the user can take within an app. For example, for this new leads one up at the top, under the lead model, this one means that any user in this group can only read lead records within the CRM app. They cannot create new ones in the terms of the create access, and they also can't edit existing ones or properties over here, or even delete them. And This is how you manage that. But let's make sure everything looks right. I'm gonna select users and companies up at the top, and then we're gonna select users this time around. Okay, let's click into one of the ones we edited, Ernest Reed. Perfect, here we go. So, if you'll notice, we'll see that CRM access rights under sales over here, and it says our group access rights name, which happens to be new employees. Ah, that looks good. But let's see what it looks like for them. Okay, so now that we're inside of Ernest's account, as you can tell by the top right, letter E, we're gonna select our CRM application over here. Now we're gonna select leads up at the top. All right, we're gonna click into one of these leads, like the design software info one. Let's try to adjust the leads probabilities to something that we like, such as 42%. Oh no, access error. Wow, looks like everything's working as intended. And that wraps up this tutorial. To recap, we created an access rights group for our new employees, enabling them to view information in the CRM app while preventing them from editing, creating, or deleting any records. Go grab a snack.